everyone. I'm hoping here we've uh, turned up the sound. There's a little echo because we put a PA system on as well. We're going to eventually change our format, but um, thanks for being being a part and, and for participating. And I hope for those of you who know people that have issues, health issues, and physical ailments, that um, that you're sharing solitude with them. The stories that we get are absolutely incredible, and sometimes they're miraculous. So, uh, you know people, again, that have knee problems, hip problems, back problems, shoulder problems, digestion, elimination, weight loss issues. They just want to build muscle, build, tighten and tone. Solitude is weight bearing, it's not weight lifting. So again, we don't limit the effects. When you're on a solicizer, every single cell of your body is expanding and contracting with weight on it over 100 times a minute. The movement up and down helps to feed that circulation through all the body parts and functions and tissue spaces in the body as it reduces inflammation and improves your overall ability to perform. Balance, equilibrium, strength, endurance, energy, so that people that have stress or under a lot of stress, uh, that thing is a lifesaver. It's just been wonderful how you can get on it for just a few minutes and move up and down and, and gently help the, the body relax. Same thing at night time for people that are suffering uh, from stress or a hard time sleeping. Again, and we shared this with the previous uh, uh, program. So we get on the solar side and just gently move up and down for two to three minutes. It's a massage. It's just a gentle pumping action. Wonderful feeling. Christine, how'd you do this week so far? Um, this week was a little bit harder for me. Uh, I have fibromyalgia and it was pretty bad this week. I'm pretty sure that some of my stress levels are pretty high right now with being in five classes and at the college and working and and uh, I really did struggle this week. I still got on the cell phones every day and that did help. But is there anything that would make those hard weeks a little bit easier. Yeah, when you talked to me a little bit earlier um, in the week about that, I suggested doing a gentle movement up and down at night time before you go to, go to sleep to help reduce the inflammation and increase circulation. I thought it would promote the healing process. How did that work? Did that help? It, it does help. It, it does help. I'm, and that's probably the best thing that I, could, I can do for that. It's hard sometimes to get up in the morning and actually even get out of bed and, and to trip on my fellow yeah. class or on my way to the bathroom um, yeah. has made it easier to just remind myself to get on it and, and, and hope for the best and it really actually is the best. I, I've noticed that a huge difference but I even I can't even imagine what I would be like if I wasn't doing it. Well, I know what I would be like. Yeah. I said that. <laughs> so, but, but that evening bounce is consistently every night. Yeah. Just get on it for how long? Um, three to five minutes. Okay. Just, just to help bounce. Just to help okay. out and allow the body, because you're, you're really bathing all the cells of fluid and circulation and, and getting rid of the blockages, stress, tension, um, swelling, inflammation, um, so that the body itself can communicate and can heal better. You're, you're in a different state and your blood cells are able to circulate better. So that, that's all good. Um, for those of you who are celebrating, we I shared with Christine the genre. It's very intense. It's extremely intense. And it works. But I want, I want to remind you, it's not how fast we get to the end result. It took me six months to change my body. And I didn't know exactly what I was doing. So I was developing these very different movements. And, and I can help save you time by teaching those. And hopefully the DVD will help you do that. But we want to play on the solicitor. It will work on you, period. So if you need to back off of it a little bit and just enjoy it, just gently move up and down, it's still working on you. It's still weight bearing on every single muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen. But at the same time, we don't have to overstress the body. Okay. So the whole idea is, I don't know if you can see it on this side, um, but why work out when you can play in? And that's really what it is. You play on the solicitor, it automatically works on you. So. Okay, so February is our month of love. Here we are. Uh -huh. I think January was 569 days long. I'll get love of the year. But here we are in February, and we tend to focus a lot on our heart. There's a big push on that for, um, you know, even the American Health, Heart Association and, 
and uh, you know, making your heart healthy. And so, how can the self care to help us? Well, and give us to keep our heart healthy. Right. Dr. Morgan Walker wrote an article many years ago in the Council of Medical Doctors, featuring over 30 of the health benefits involved with celibacy. And one of the things that he talked about is how it strengthens the heart and the collateral muscles around the heart. So as you, and you just think about it, we have the circulatory system made up of one-way valves. The heart pumps to move that fluid through those one-way valves, so it makes its circuit through the circu uh, uh, circulation. But when you get on a cellophyzer and you start to move up and down, you make it easier on the heart. Which is why people are able to do more activity on a subtle side than they might if they went out and did something else with less stress on the body, less stress on the heart. Because if you're moving up and down, you're making it easier on the heart and all the collateral muscles surrounding the heart. So those are going to be more efficient and more effective too. So the subtle sides are literally acts like a, a heart as it strengthens the body. The calf muscles, as you're lifting the heels up and down, they become stronger which makes it easier for the body to move circulation from the lower extremities back up to the heart. The breathing improves because as we're moving them down, we're opening up the circulatory channels. And I, I don't know anything like it. When you go out and you pound the heart surface, it's not that you can't have benefit or enjoyment, but the jarring effect does the opposite of what solidifies that. Solidifies opens up the body. You're weightless over 100 times a minute. And then as you come down, it's a gentle weight or g-force on the body. So without ever coming to an abrupt stop or jar, it's a jarring impact over and over that over time accumulatively can cause damage. And so it's wonderful to be able to work with people that have knee problems, hip problems, back problems, and all of a sudden they can exercise again. They're doing things they didn't think they could do. And as they're doing it, all the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint are getting stronger. They're being imbibed with more fluid and circulation. And the body just starts to perform better again. And we're seeing this at all ages. I wanted to share a few of the customer reviews we received. These are recent ones. And this one is uh, from Carmel. Carmel? Mm -hmm. Carmel, Carmel. Beautiful little uh, customer review. I appreciate that. I really enjoyed this. And this spoke to me. It says, oh my, where to begin? I've had other cheap and expensive rebounders, and nothing comes remotely close to the feel and response of the cellophyzer. My feet do not pronate, and the bounce is much firmer than others without being jarring. Customer services are stellar. Thank you. This is a company with passion and heart. If this is their life's work, not a moment in this endeavor has been wasted. That brought tears to my eyes. I appreciate that. It is our life's work. This is the best beauty and health product ever. If you could only spend your money on one thing, hands down, it would be the solid fiber. Better spend your money and time here than on lotions, creams, and gizmos. Can you tell I'm sold? <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful. Um, okay, that's a note to me. For me. <laughs> hey, Dave. First, I want to say that Jenna is awesome. There you go, Jenna. All your support people are amazing. And I've had a cellophyzer for probably, I don't know, maybe 13 to 15 years. Is that possible? A trifle. You may have the same one I do. Mine's 15 years old. I bought it after a cancer diagnosis when I was bouncing on another brand that popped a spring and hit me in the eye and scratched my face. That gave me, they gave me a refund and I found cellophyzer. I still have my same old trifle. It's been on the airplane a few times. Did that too, and he's back. I just got a balance bar for it. I've abandoned it outside for a year in the rain and mist, and now it's got rusty springs, but I use it daily for 20 to 30 minutes. Plus, every few hours, I do a couple of 30-second bursts on it, like jumping jacks or running in play cards. This helps the production of human growth hormone. Also, about a month ago, a friend was requesting on our neighborhood email list if anyone had a used different kind of rebounder for sale. I won't mention the other name. I called and said, no, no, don't get that unit, get a solarizer. And Jenna set her up with a phone call with someone who told her the benefits of solarizer. And she emailed me a few days ago that she's so happy I recommended the solarizer. Yay, now, if I could only get my ass to look like your sister. 
still get there. <laughs> um, last one. Been using it consistently for a year. Wonderful piece of equipment. I have terrible knees, bone on bone, arthritis from Lyme's disease. This is the only all capitalized piece of equipment that I am safe. I can safely manage. I stick in a video and bounce away. Love it. Thank you all for your support and for sharing your accomplishments, what you're feeling. That in and of itself will help promote and support other people who are looking for, for answers in their own personal health and fitness. So, is so there anything else you wanted to share? Any questions that we, we have? have questions. We've got oh, questions. Okay. I'll put my okay. down okay. just so they can hear me a little better, hopefully. All right. Okay, so this was kind of a two people asked a similar one. I know we've covered this, but I've seen this question asked quite a bit um, on our group. When performing the resistant movements, movements to build muscle mass, such as holding the hands clasped in front of you, etc., are you baby bouncing while doing those, or are you doing a more aggressive bounce? Wondering how much bounce is necessary to really change and grow muscle mass. And the other question that was that followed that was, can you show me the routine for our arms so we don't get flabby arms? So sure. kind of the same thing. So. Okay, let's do that. We're going to move that. This over here is just a little bit. And this is what I do. So, I, you know, I, I don't have a great big muscle or bulky arms. But they're strong and they're firm. And, and, and believe me, you, you will feel it. It does work. When I start off, the moving up and down is a more of an isotonic. It's weight bearing, an increase of weight. The isometric for Tony is the resistance. So as I bounce up and out and I do resistance, I'm doing an isometric and an isotonic all at the same time. And my entire body collectively is still involved. It's weight bearing on everything. That's what makes it so efficient. So the way I do this is I count one, two, three, four, and then down, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. I count, I do that maybe 20 times. You can do it longer and, and you, you'll, you will feel it. But that, that builds up the front and the back and the arm because when you're done with this side, now you're going to do this side and you do the same thing. Two, three, four, and then down, two, two, three, four. Okay, now for the back of the arm, that's going to help, by the way. That's going to help the back of the arm, too, because you're pushing down, which is working the trapezius, the, the uh, how? The tricep. Tricep, thank you. <laughs> Mind, but the tricep, at the same time, you're working the bicep. So, so it's down and up, and it's working both sides of the arm. If you want to target more of the back of the arm, then you can do the same thing on the back and just push down. The reason I like to create movement while I'm doing it is so that the ligaments and the tendons don't get hard in one place. So that was one of the reasons I designed it to have movement up and down while you're doing those different movements. You can pull apart, and that's going to work the shoulders and again the back of the arm. You can just end up more just resistance than anything else. You can push in, and that's working the chest, and I do that too. Um, shoulders and chest, and again, is it uh, Mr. Universe? I want to say Mike Messer. But just he builds his body just doing resistance movements. So when we're doing resistance movements and we're increasing the weight, we get the best of all worlds. We've got some great customer reviews on osteoporosis and osteopenia, and I welcome you to take a look at what those are, how those have been written on our website, solarplex.com forward slash reviews. And it will share some of the experiences that they had. And some of them are, again, a doctor can't explain. It. It's been far and above what was expected. So, Weight bearing, just jumping up and down is weight bearing. Jumping up off the unit two to three inches, that's a lot of weight. Um, that weight is absorbed gradually. 
but it is weight bearing. Your muscles are flexing quite a bit. And the bones have the G forces on them. And those G forces are what help to create osteoblastic activity to help build up bone density. Now, if you're taking calcium supplements or the sesame seed milk, some of them have done uh, green leafy vegetables, of course, and you're, you're applying an increase of weight in the body, and the bones will utilize those nutrients to strengthen the skeletal system. So again, it doesn't have to be high. It just has to be weight, and solid size is weight bearing. You can alter the angle of your body, creating more impact, not, not jarring, but more of an impact to certain areas of the body, which also will help strengthen the, the bones and increase circulation through the pumping action between the joints, which is very, very important. It's a body. And solid sizing neuropathy. We haven't, can't make a claim that will heal neuropathy. We have people that have done 20 minutes at a time and they've said that they feel um, that it's been quite effective in, in helping them. Again, our objective is to reduce inflammation through the pumping action, increase circulation to promote healing, and get rid of the heavy metals and the toxins poisons we've been exposed to. And the movement up and down can loosen those up and help flush those out of the body. All right. Now, I read online that two people have asked about an affiliate program. What okay. is the affiliate program? We do have an affiliate program, and it's available on our website. And Jenna handles most of that. She may be watching now. She's the one who is on our, our website and the web chat most of the time. She grew up on a subtle side, but literally, she was being birthed on a subtle side. I mean, it's good. It's great, um, but I hope I didn't embarrass her. But the the movement up and down is going to um, this. But as an affiliate, so she runs the affiliate right. program. Okay. So, so the affiliate the movement up and down is going to increase. I was thinking of a baby. Okay. If the baby has um, colic, or if the baby is you're trying to birth the baby, or if you're trying to put a baby to sleep. That gentle movement up and down will help to do that. Our affiliate program you can find on our website under affiliates, and um, you can sign up. And what will happen is you will get a little code that you can HTML type code that you can put on on your website. And anytime somebody comes through your website and you promote the solarizer, it will follow them. So it follows them through your website to our website where they get all the information and if they place the order, then you get credit for it. And we're sending out checks now every month to affiliates who are helping to promote the word and get, get the word out. Perfect. All right, is doing the same seller, for, and I think you kind of touched on this, is doing the same seller size routine exercises every day okay or should one incorporate more variety? I'm concerned about plateauing and not changing my body. What are ways to change one's routine? Well, you can change your routine. We've got lots of different exercises that you can do. My routine has pretty much been the same um, since I started doing it. You will have, here's what's interesting. When you do weightlifting to tear down, to build up, and you build these bulky muscles, and it works, but it's, they're hard muscles, you reach a plateau. And then you increase the weight and you maintain the repetition so the arms are bigger. Well, with cellar size, as you're doing the resistance movements, you're going to get stronger. So as you get stronger, you're able to apply more resistance than you were before. So you can regulate and control and build up the muscle without tearing them down. So I prefer doing it on the, on the cellar size, and you just, as you get stronger, you will be able to leverage your body weight more. You'll be able to do more things naturally. Um, jumping high isn't really necessary at all. In fact, I'm kind of against it. When you jump, when you jump high, you're weightless. Your body's not working. You're just floating. And as I've mentioned before, if you want to float, get a big trampoline. At least you can float and do tricks. But you're at your the benefit of cell size is coming as the cells are expanding and contracting, as it's weight bearing, as the valves are opening and shutting. And that's done within the first two to three inches of the cellar fiber. 
If you want to increase the intensity, just alter the angle of your body a little bit, and it will focus the effect more effectively on those areas you want to target. But even while you're targeting those areas, unlike typical exercise, the entire body is still involved. Again, that's what makes it so efficient. All right. Sorry for not using this for those who couldn't hear me. Uh, what are moves to remedy incontinence? I think that may be a more common thing in us mm-hmm. women who have had at least one or sure. more babies. It absolutely is. And you're all familiar with the Kegel, where you tighten that's an isometric to tone the muscle, but how do you build up the muscle? We've got some good written testimonials on that as well, and customer reviews. And what we do on the subtle side is we tighten as much as we can, and then, tightening, we balance. And as we balance, we put more weight on that sphincter muscle. The sphincter muscle is a muscle, and as you apply weight to a muscle, the weight becomes stronger and can become bigger as well to compensate for that weight. So the, the movement is to do the Kegel and then balance and tighten as much as you can while you're doing it. Every time you come down to the bottom of the mountain, that increase of weight is on the inside. Um, so it may take a little bit of time. But again, read the customer reviews and, and see how other people have done it and how they felt about it. And, and some of them have had incredibly fast results. So. And is that just the baby bounce that you're talking about, the health bounce? Mm-hmm. OK. Well, yes, it is. Although with that, if you want to put more weight, you can jump a little higher. Okay. Okay. But you'll feel a little more, so, so build up to it gradually. Okay, my sister is interested in salad sizing, but has bone spurs and knees, and her doctor thinks rebounding would be a bad idea for that. What are your thoughts on this? Well, what are you going to do? I mean, what are you going to do for that? If you go into a pool, it's chlorinated, and the chlorine itself is a cell killer, and it, it, um, it can compromise your health. Um, so. I believe that the key is to increase circulation. As we increase circulation, we help promote healing. Now, I'm not going to speak against the doctor. Um, since, you know, follow your doctor's advice or have your doctor give me a call. But I'm sharing with my personal feeling and experience is that with other people, is as we strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joints, the body is able to retain more circulation in that area. And as those muscles get stronger and support it better, then that increase of circulation can help promote healing. Bone spurs are hard to work with. They can take time. Um, often they're caused from lack of calcium. There's not enough calcium in your diet. Some people think it's just the opposite, but no, not necessarily true. The body can become acidic. A lot of that has to do with our environment, the food, and the uh, processed foods that we're exposed to or that we eat every day. When the body becomes acidic, it has a tendency to want to neutralize itself. And so in an attempt to do that, it can actually take from the bones in your body the calcium and mineral supplements in the body to try to neutralize itself. So those, those, that calcium is too hard for the body to absorb. And so what you end up is you get these little spurs, if you will, that um, can be real painful and takes time to, to break those down. And sometimes it takes surgery. But I always would encourage people to try solidifying first. Increase circulation first. And you're not going to do anything crazy. Now, a lot of doctors don't know the difference between a solidifier and a rebounder. And typical rebounders that have a jarring effect He's absolutely right. That can be damaging, and that can can be very here can cause inflammation. The cellar size is, is pumping. It's increasing circulation. It's eliminating the jarring effect that you would have from typical exercises or any of the other rebounders on the market. All right. So. Most people will notice the difference on the cellulosizer immediately, but it comes in stages. So it may be um, you just feel better, you're breathing better, your energy starts to increase, your balance starts to improve, um, your ligaments and tendons start to get stronger, you're sleeping better. Uh, as you get as you get stronger, you're able to put more effort into routine. Just don't overdo it, because if you overdo it, then it can be a little bit of a setback. Um, so we want to 
just have fun on it, just play on it, and watch it. It took a month for me to drop the belt notch, but I wasn't even trying that hard. I, it just, I was playing on it. See, we think of a workout as you have to work hard. No, you don't. You can play hard, and you can still get the benefit. And on a solo side, I just, I was playing with it. Um, and I think many of you have heard me say it. Uh, in one month, my wife asked me if I was lifting weight. She said, your arms are bigger. I said, really? Well, it was after the first month that I said, hey, maybe there's something to this that I didn't understand. And I took it more seriously. And within six months, the, the whole physique had changed. And now everybody else again was asking, what are you doing? And now I'm excited. I said, well, let me, let me tell you, this thing is so easy. I started teaching them, they started getting results, and before I knew it, I had a whole new career. I just had not planned on it, but it was good. Okay. All right, so these are folks that are still just kind of doing the baby bounce, and they're kind of doing a consistent jumping for 20 to 30 minutes, trying to build up the coordination of their balance, okay? Is that okay and if they continue no. to do that, and, and before they go into all this, you know, the specialized movements that you have that, you know, build muscle mass, if they're just doing those kinds of things, they're getting good benefit, right? They're getting great benefit. That's the most important thing you can do. If you can do nothing more than shift the health or the baby down, that is, in my opinion, I, I, I know this. It's the most important physical activity we do every day of our life. That gentle movement up and down, uh, we're, we're weightless at the top of the balance, where we can allow energy, circulation, communication to flow right through the body. As we gently come down, everything comes down collectively together in unison. This is literally a whole body exercise. And it's collective. The thyroid, the adrenals, the endocrine system, liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals, pineal gland, brain activity, lymphatic system, circulatory system. Everything is involved together. If you did nothing more than that, to help body parts and functions work more efficiently, to open up the circulation, to help change blood chemistry, so that it's easier for the heart to move that circulation through the capillaries into the brain, into the eyes, into other areas of the body. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing we do every day of our lives. And again, as I've mentioned, um, for the lymphatic system, the immune system, that movement up and down is what activates millions of one-way valves in the lymphatic system to help pull circulation through the bones, the joints, the tissue space of the body as a vacuum system. And to open up the circulatory channel so it's easier for the white blood cells to move through the body so they can do their job more effectively, which is to seek out and destroy the foreign invaders, viruses, germs, bacteria, fungus, dead cells, mutant cells, cancer cells, and other foreign invaders. So yes. <laughs> All righty, these are our last two. I'm noticing my eyesight isn't as good as it was. What do you recommend to help with that? Is this something that the solitizer can kind of help with a little bit? Yeah, everybody's different on that one. Um, some of it, it depends on what's happening with the eye. I know Juan up in uh, San Francisco, California, once got very upset with me because his vision got worse. Did we talk about this recently? I don't remember if we talked about it. But, but Juan, um, I was in San Francisco six months after he started solicizing, and he came by my booth and he was upset. And he said, you should warn people it's going to affect their vision. I said, why would happen? He said, well, I kept using this thing. Every time I used it, it got harder and harder to read. I finally put it away. Then I got it back out. And then I went to the doctor. And I said, how come my, no, my vision is not too good? The doctors did a, a um, eye exam on, an examination on him, and they, they found that he'd gone from 5.5 diopters to 4.5 diopters. He was nearsighted. He just needed new glasses, but with less power. So there are several techniques we can do. And keep in mind, when you're moving up and down and you're weightless, the weight is on the eyes as well. And the movement is on circulation in the eye. And the eye is expanding and contracting. It's gentle, but it's getting movement there. If we take, we've had people, several people do this, where they've taken and created an eye chart. And it's, it's easy. You just get different fonts and different size, words, and you, you create a collage. And you put it up on the window. And as you move up and down, you read the different words up and down, side to side, across, diagonal, and, and you speak them out, out loud at the same time you're reading them. And you do that for a few moments, and then you look at the window, through the window, at something at a distance. And you look at a distance for a few moments. And then you come back and you look at the eye chart. 
And what's happening is that the eye is, you're using the muscles of the eye while they're also uh, increasing, you're increasing circulation in G-forces. So those muscles and the circulation um, can get stronger. And, and often that can be the case. Now there's other issues that sometimes we have to deal with. I still think it's effective. But if the actual lens has gotten harder, then even though the muscles are stronger, it may be harder for them to be able to to uh, to shape the the actual lens so that you can see. And so then sometimes you might have to do other other things. But the solar size are very effective in helping increase the circulation again, and I believe that's important to maintain good body parts and function. Okay, the final question. All right. Give us an app update. People oh. wanted to know about the app. Yes, in fact, hold on. Hold that thought, I'll be right back. I'm going to find my phone. Is my phone anywhere? Where is my phone? I did it for myself. Alright. So, I'm giving you the update from our, our um, programmers just as I received it. So it came today at 
But just do those muscles. Now, the, the more intense you get, obviously, it's the harder it is on your body. So start off as we're building up. You're doing great, <laughs> especially with the issues that you're, you're dealing with right now. That is fantastic. So, um, yeah, just, just relax a little bit, drink lots of water, keep okay. doing that, allow the body to work and heal and, and get stronger, and enjoy enjoy the, uh, the, the journey. That's what it is. It's, and just enjoy. And the same thing for everybody there. Enjoy the journey. It is. Um, be appreciative for where you are right now. It's really important. And then work towards your vision, the goal or objective you have in your mind. Hold on to that goal or objective. Even if you're not there, it doesn't matter. Just hold on to it so that you start to respond in ways that will allow you to reach it. And your desire and your passion will grow, and that's all great. As your desire, passion, and capacity increases, then the intensity will as well. So call if you have any questions. Thank you for sharing the information, being part of the Subtle Size family. You guys are great.